Hey guys, it's Metal War God, and uh, I have another mail update for you guys here. Been getting a lot more stuff, of course. Uh, uh, always like getting vinyl, and uh, I, I do have a little bit of a mix, but mostly it is vinyl, and I have not uh, dug into these packages yet. So uh, let's get started here, and uh, let's see, first package. Storm Spell Records. I think I got an idea what this probably is. Um, since I ordered it earlier in the week, I do not believe these are vinyl. And uh, I know I couldn't get these on vinyl. Well, I take that back. I am wrong on this. I am wrong. Very, very awesome album here. Uh, I know it just came out on vinyl. I'm referring to Blazing Stone. If your fans are running wild, you'll be a fan of this uh, band here. Blazing Stone. Uh, this, of course, is 180 gram black vinyl. Very happy to get this. Uh, I know I was waiting on other stuff from Storm Smell. Um, I, I totally forgot I got this one, so I'm uh, very happy to get this. Uh, so very, very cool. Uh, this is their uh, their second album. Of course, this is a uh, limited edition 298 of 500. Of course, it has the insert here. Blazing Stone, call it pirate metal. So very, very, very good stuff here if you're into uh, uh, pirate metal and so forth. Of course, as always, uh, comes with the outer sleeve, which is very cool. Uh, this, this happens, I think this is probably five mil. And uh, so, I mean, there's different mill sizes above the outer sleeves. There's two mil, there's three mil, uh, there's five mil. I prefer the five mil. Uh, it just, to me, it just lasts longer, makes your covers last longer, and so forth. So, uh, anyway, Blazing Stone. Uh, from the UK. Wind waiting. Uh, of course, I order a lot, so I'm not always positive on what comes on what day, but uh, curious to see what this is here. And uh, so, I think I got an idea, but not positive. See here. Okay, yes. Stars. Brightest stars. Of course, this is uh, uh, something you don't see every day. Uh, eBay buy. I've got it from uh, England. And I'm telling you, the service is very fast. I ordered it, I believe it was Monday or Sunday of uh, last week, and I got it today. It's like the vinyl has never been played. It has uh, Best America or Heavy Metal America on there. So, uh, yeah, happy to get this. I've been kind of on a, a STARS mission lately and uh, acquiring the catalog from uh, the 70s band. Let's see, this came out, let's see if I can find a date on this. Um, not sure if I can find it or not, um, if it's on here. But this is on Heavy Metal Records, so uh, um, da, 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 da. I don't think I can find it. Sometimes it's on the spine, but in this particular one I do not see a date 
but uh, I, I would assume it come out in the 70s or, or early 80s. Cover's very good. Stars, brightest stars, of course. Uh, again, this comes with the outer sleeve. This is very cool. Uh, and uh, yeah. So I'm happy to pick up this one. So another good find. eBay find, of course. Now let's see what we got here. Nuclear blast. And uh, again, not always sure, all the time about all of these. But uh, you know, I do keep confirmations of what I do get in my. Uh, uh, so I think I kind of know what this is. Exactly what I thought it was. Brand new Lost Society. Brain dead. This is a gatefold. Uh, it has. Uh, Three track side side A, three track side B, two on C, and bonus tracks two on D. So yeah, happy, happy, happy. Of course, nuclear blast. This was a pre-order, and it finally did arrive. Very cool. And let's see what we got here. This comes from Sean Hanley from San Diego. Uh, I'm sure it's, a, it's another eBay buy. I've been finding a lot of good eBay buys. I've um, been waiting out a bunch of stuff, like I say. And, uh, uh, yep. This is actually a... Uh, I don't think... I've never seen this before up until uh, uh, doing a search. Uh, online on eBay of uh, this band and uh, I just happened to get uh, one the other day and they do do a good job of packaging it um, the last one, uh, the one I got the other day was, uh, uh, God, no, I can't think of it. I just, I, I just, I just had it. But, uh, anyway, we get this out of here. It'd be uh, very cool to see. I love when they do good packaging of this, you know, protects your covers, protects your, uh, your vinyl and, and so forth and you put it in a protective pack and I'm talking of 1994 this is this is a special 12 inch two song uh, actually three songs from the album uh, their self-titled album 1994 this has once again and shoot to kill and bring it home uh, from 1978 female hard rock fronted band uh, uh, I think believe they're out of LA and uh, uh, this is the single 12 inch and uh, this is actually a promotional copy so um, you probably weren't gonna find it in a store and I'm telling you the vinyl is immaculate condition very cool. Uh, I love uh, 1994. The first two albums are great albums. She later kind of uh, progressed into more of a bluesy band, but uh, uh, something I've wanted to add to my collection for some time. And again, I, I did not know about this until a couple weeks ago, and uh, I had to have it in my collection. 1994. Good stuff. Uh, Again, the outer sleeve, this is probably a two mil thickness sleeve. Uh, they're okay, but uh, I, I, I think they tend to rip 
a lot easier than let's say the three mil or the five mil sleeves um, so uh, if, you, if you don't have them or you don't have extra I guess you're gonna have to settle with these here so uh, but uh, I buy a lot of extra outer sleeves and I buy a lot of inner sleeves because sometimes the sleeves that you get are just shot so you got to replace them and so yeah 1994 let's see what here we got uh, this is from flat black records out of California and uh, this comes from Ryan Blovelt uh, sometimes the names you hard to pronounce them but uh, um, again another eBay buy and something uh, I, I tell you I've been buying a lot of vinyl lately predominantly I'd say 90 well not 90 I'd say about 85% of what I'm buying uh, has been vinyl just trying to get my vinyl collection back up there to where, where it used to be uh, from the 70s and 80s and early 90s and uh, yeah another stars violation I did pick this up last week but uh, I had this one is a different version this is a cutout and uh, the one I have violation on the other one is a black vinyl this is gold yes gold version and uh, this is from 1977 and uh, definitely definitely don't see uh, a lot of the colored vinyls from the 70s as you do now because of course vinyl nowadays you get it in virtually any color I like color vinyl I always have always will and uh, uh, so I was very, you know, when I when I ordered this one, I did not realize it was gold until I got a message sent to me. And this is the cover, the inner sleeve, very cool. Uh, Stars violation, and uh, happy to get it. And uh, uh, you know, this is, of course this is from uh, Capitol Records or and a Rock Steady production. Outer sleeve, three mil, very good. You know, uh, again, I always like the outer sleeve. It helps protect your covers. Uh, and I used to put them in another way. Now I just put them in opening side down. I used to turn them to the side like this and then slide them in this way, but I put them in this way. Now I heard it was a better way to do it. And uh, that's the way I do it. So. Uh, Anyway, so we got another one here. Let's see. Uh, this is from Richard Fuller from uh, Virginia. And uh, another eBay find. And I think I know what this one is. And uh, anyway, well, let's see what we got here. Yes, another one. Another stars. Coliseum Rock. Again on Capitol. And this one is from, I believe it's uh, 1978. Uh, very cool. Uh, Love Stars. A band that was very, very underrated for its time. Uh, uh, really never got a whole lot of play probably the the song most known by the band is called uh, cherry oh god now I'm gonna forget the name oh yeah see no I can't remember that cherry cherry baby that's the one I'm thinking of here's the insert so uh, yeah getting the stars collection back up there uh, I'm gonna have to replace this one but uh, nonetheless, I'll probably still keep the insert. So uh, anyway, some more stars. And uh, 
of Capital Collectibles. Very cool. Of course, uh, they usually send you a card here with it and so forth. So um, I'm happy with it. Of course, they sell sleeves too. So anyway, so here's uh, another version here. And uh, this one comes from uh, Don Ficaroli, Ficaroli from Madison, New Jersey. Uh, you know, sometimes they make their own uh, mailers, homemade mailers. So, uh, you know, sometimes you got to settle with what you get. But at least, at least, he did a good job of protecting uh, the album being sent here. So I'm happy about that. And uh, so let's see here. All right, now oh, let's see how we got, what we got here, and, um... Yeah, sometimes it can be a little difficult, but, you know, it's the way it is. So let's see what we got here. And, to complete the set, of 1994, here's their self-titled one. This is my favorite one from the band. Uh, I used to have this in my collection at one time, and again, I sold it. And uh, uh, this is actually a promo, so uh, either way, covers in great condition. Um, the vinyl, I mean, nice insert. But uh, now I have both both albums, vinyls in good shape, and uh, of course this this is the one that really uh, turned me on to the band. Of course, it has once again "Shoot to Kill," "Sing to Me," Elena, and it also has uh, "Bring It Home," "Radio Zone," "Hit the Hard Way," and "Read It Up." Again, killer, killer '70s hard rock that is female fronted. And uh, let's see, this one is from 1978. Of course, like I had mentioned, uh, uh, she later went on after 1994 and formed a blues, ba a blues band called Blue by Nature, which is very good. And uh, I mean, good stuff here. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm just happy and pleased overall with what I've been getting lately, uh, filling holes in uh, in my collection that I I had it one time and I don't and I didn't have and sold and so forth but getting it back anyway that is the latest video update from Metal War God don't forget every Wednesday Metal Uprising on SonicAsylumRadio.com and this coming Wednesday I have Cincinnati Thrash Band Workers so check it out I'm on from 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Central Standard Time interview usually about 8 30 p.m so check it out and as always say keep it loud keep it heavy keep it metal and i'll see you next time on the metal video update good night